Candace Raymond of Banjo Solutions. Today I want to talk about domains and hosting. Two very separate things, but they need to work together. Typically you'll contact a company because you'd like to get hosting. What that means is you need somewhere to store the files, the images, the content that your website is made up of. You're not going to store it on your computer, but you need to have it somewhere out on the internet. So you're contacting a company and basically they're giving you a computer or access to a computer, so to speak, to put your information on. You're going to be given an IP address, 192.148.24.6. Now typically that doesn't make a lot of sense and people can't remember that. So you obtain a domain name or a URL, a URL, URL. So in my case, banja.ca. I can control that domain and tell it where I want it to point, where all my files are being stored, where my website is. If I want to change my hosting company, I'm going to have to change where the domain is pointing to the new IP address. Two very important things, hosting and domains. You need to have user, login, and passwords for both. If they're with the same company, they can all be integrated. If they're not with the same company, you're going to have to have the user access for both. So if you need to do anything with your website or give it to your web developer, make sure you keep that information handy. Have a great day.